All right, in this lecture I'll show you how to download the census data that you need from the web. And we're talking about US census data. Now, uh, we have two websites. We have census.gov and we have factfinder.census.gov, which is actually a subdomain of this one here. In census.gov, we download the geometry uh, for the census data. And in the fact finder, we download the attributes, so the tables, in other words. And specifically, what I'll download in this lecture is, I'll download the counts of people that have master degrees for each block group in the city of San Francisco. So we have 150 people uh, which completed a master degree in this block group. We have 100 in this other and so on and so forth. So we'll have a map with polygons showing the number of people with master degrees. And I would like to download the attributes first. And what you want to do is go to advanced search and show me all. Now this is a very unintuitive uh, website, I have to say. So if you try this on, on your own, if you don't follow this tutorial, <laughs> you'll have a hard time uh, going through this. So please follow me. Now uh, we will work with these two tabs here. The Topics tab uh, is where you select the attributes you want to download and the Geography tab is where you select the level, the geography level you want the attributes to be based on. So you want the attributes for blocks, block groups, census tracts or uh, uh, counties or states and so on and so forth. We'll go first to Topics and we want to go to People. So people, and then we go to education. And what we want is educational uh, attainment. So if we click that, uh, you'll see that this was added to your selections. So now you have selected a table here. So close that window. And now you want to select uh, what geographic level you want this table to be based on. So you go to geographies and then to name and here you have all the uh, available uh, geographic types or levels so this is what you can choose for this attribute and we would like to have block groups so I click that and then I get some available tables for the block groups now we want uh, data for San Francisco so what you want to do is go to the geography filter options and then go to within state and here you will select California because San Francisco is inside California so here and then what you want to do is find San Francisco in this table so we are in uh, M here Modoc County go to page 2 and here it is so what you want to do is, is select this attribute and go to add. And you'll see that your, your query was added to your selections. So in your selections, you are saying that you, you want uh, data for educational attainment on a globe, on a block group uh, level for San Francisco County, California. Now you go ahead and close this window. So this is why I said this is very unintuitive uh, because you really don't think that you have to close windows like this. Uh, now you have many available attributes that you want to add to the table that will be generated later when you uh, press the download button. Let's say we want the number of people over 25 years old who have completed uh, a master degree. Uh, what you can do is you can scroll through these rows here and go to the next page to, to find that attribute or you can just search for a keyword here master degree ah, yep yeah. here you have uh, this is sex by educational attainment we don't know that here you have the available years so if you want 2014, you click that 
And here is what we would like to have. So this is the final table. Educational attainment for the population 25 years and over. So you click to download. And it says that you get a zip file. Okay. Great, your file was uh, generated. Download. And these are the data. I'll copy this. And go to my other folder. I'll just put this in here. And extract it. Alright. And I'll delete the zip file. So these are the files. The main file here is this one here. So these are the actual data. These look uh, quite scary for now. So I'll close this and you also have metadata. And the metadata are basically data about data. So here, here you have the descriptions or the columns that you have in the main data. So the column we are interested at is HD01 VD23 estimate. So this shows the total number of uh, people who have a master degree. Now what I can do is open a QGIS project and open the data inside QGIS. Is this one here and now you can see a more structured table so that's it something you may notice is that we basically have two headers here so we need to remove one of them so I'll close this and remove this from here and I'll open this with atom Excel is not displaying the data very nicely. So I would like to actually remove this row. That's it. So basically we have a geo ID here, which is an ID code. And we have a second ID. Then we have the type of a geographical feature, which is a block group. So all of these are block groups. And then you have basically the census tract that this blog group belongs to and then you have the county that this census tract belongs to and then you have the states and then you have the actual attributes we also have the metadata which are these ones here so you can identify those columns using this metadata here now each row represents a blog group so what we need now is uh, to have the actual shapefiles of the blog groups. And we will get those shapefiles from the census.gov website. So once you open the page, you go to geography and you go to maps and data. And what you're looking for is tiger products. And then you have a few uh, formats here. You have geodatabases which are suited for ArcGIS but what we want is shapefiles and you also have uh, actually you have shapefiles with demographic data so you could probably find the data uh, using this menu here so the data that we got from the fact finder but uh, sometimes you don't have all the data here and using the fact finder you, you have a more constructive interface where you can select your data so it's better to get the attributes from the fact finder and then you get the geometry data from the tiger products. So what you need is shapefiles. So you click there and then you have some data here. So we want data for year 2014. So you click that tab and go to download. And you have two forms. Basically you have an FTP site and you have the web interface. The web interface is normally more friendly, more user friendly, and so you want to click that. And you want the year, so let's say for 2014, and here you have the geographic level that you want data for. So we want blog groups, go to submit and your file will be downloaded. 
Oh yeah, you need to uh, select the state also. So we want California. Go to download. And now your file is being downloaded. You will have quite a lot of uh, blog groups actually for the entire California. But in the attributes, we have data for, for San Francisco only. So what we will do then, we will actually filter the data in QGIS. And I'll show you how to do just that. So I'll stop the video here until this uh, file is downloaded. Alright, the zip file was successfully downloaded, so I'll extract that. Great, and delete the zip file. And here we go. So this is a shapefile with its associated files. And I can go ahead and open that inside QGIS. So a shapefile is a vector file, so you go to add vector and then browse, click on the uh, shapefile and then open. And these are the block groups. So if you open the attribute table, you'll see that you have lots of attributes for each block group. Uh, so we simply have some basic stuff here. So we have land area, and we have the water area, and we have the latitude and the longitude of the central point of the block group. So basically we don't have any census data here. And our duty now is to actually append this table with data to this table so that each block group will get the attribute for educational attainment. And I'll show you how to do that in the next lecture.